Today on DIY with Designer Co, we are going to be making these snazzy locker magnets to make back to school a little bit happier. For today's puff magnet tutorial, you're going to need a few supplies, some embroidery floss, some interesting buttons, I love vintage ones but anything goes. You'll need a sewing needle, some decorative sequins, fabric scissors, and some great big pieces of felt. So the first step is to lay out your felt. Now you're gonna want a front and a back to your puff magnet, and those can be the same color or different colors. So I've laid out one piece of felt with another piece laid right on top of it. You can either freehand cut your shape, or if you're not too confident with that, you can draw it out lightly first with a fabric marker or washable marker, Sharpie, anything goes. Okay, so I'm going to make a square shaped puff magnet today. And I'm going to freehand it because I like the organic look too and I don't want it to be super duper perfect. So I've cut out my shape, I've got a square and I've got two layers that are pretty well the same size. So the next step for our puff magnets are to decorate the front side of it um, before we stitch them together. Um, that's with sequins, with buttons, whatever you can dig up. Um, you can use complementary colored thread or you can use a contrasting color. So I've chosen yellow for my pink felt. I think it gives it a really nice fun pop. And I'm just gonna go ahead and thread my needle. Once you finally get your thread through your needle, you're going to take the two ends of the thread and bring them together like so and tie them together in a simple overhand knot. Once it's knotted, you're ready to stitch. So we're gonna start in from the middle and I think I'm just gonna do a random pattern with this one. You can bring your needle through from the wrong side to the right side and pull it all the way through until your knot is hugging the felt. The next step is to take your sequin, thread it onto your needle and bring your sequin all the way down to the fabric and then you're gonna stitch down right next to the sequin to secure it in place. So if you wanted to do something like this where it's clusters of sequins, you're going to keep doing that exact same step over and over again, going around and around and around and around and around until you reach the end. If you wanted to do something more scattered and random like this one where there's just a few sequins, you're gonna again do the same stitch, but from the back, from the wrong side, you're gonna skip to the next spot and it'll all be covered up in the end. So I would skip to say here, very randomly, bring my needle up through the fabric, and then go ahead and add another sequin. Bring that all the way down. Okay, and then we're gonna stitch again down right next to that new sequin. So the back is gonna end up looking like a crazy mess, and don't really worry about that. What you wanna focus on is the front side of it, and that it's nice and smooth over here, and that all you're seeing is sequins. So when you're done embellishing the front side of your puffed magnet, you wanna secure the thread on the back so that all your sequins don't fall off in the end. So flip it over to the wrong side of your fabric. And a really easy way to knot is to just pick your needle through your fabric. Not all the way though, because you don't wanna see the stitch on the right side. So pick it through, pull all the way. And then you're gonna go through that same stitch three or four times. So this is two, and three, and we'll do one more for good luck, four, pull, so then you can snip off your extra thread, and we're going to start sewing our two shapes together to create our magnet. You want to start by poking from the wrong side to the right side of your fabric through one layer only. And this will ensure that your knot gets hidden on the inside of the puff. Then we connect the two pieces together, line them up so they match. So once you've lined up your shapes, we're gonna start doing a whip stitch around the seam. And you're gonna wanna go about halfway to three quarters of the way around the shape, depending on the shape that you have. Okay, so in order to do a whip stitch, you're always gonna be poking from the same side and coming out the same side. You're gonna poke from this side underneath to this right side. Then we're gonna bring it around the seam and poke from the wrong side to the right side. And around the seam and outside to the inside. So this is a decorative stitch. You're meant to see the stitches 
So again, you might want to have fun with a different color um, for your thread. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and sewn a whip stitch around three of my four edges. So there's just a little pocket here. So I'm going to be using felt scraps for my stuffing because I figure why not recycle and reuse the little bits left over. So we're going to just go ahead and continue sewing our whip stitch along the last seam or two seams depending on your shape just to seal it up. So once you've stitched up your last seam, you're ready to knot or secure your thread. And it's very similar to how we did it on the back with the sequins. You're going to create a stitch, a regular whip stitch, bring it through, and then you're gonna go through that same spot three times. So two more times, right through that same stitch, two. It gets a little bit tougher each time to pull it, two. Three. Then you can smooth out your stuffing. So in order to transform these lovely little puff pillows into magnets, you're going to need some magnets and also a hot glue gun to affix them together. So you're going to want to take one magnet at a time in your hot glue and you're going to squeeze some glue onto the back, not too, too much. We don't want oozing. And then quickly secure it onto your puff. Hold it there for about 10 or 15 seconds. Let it cool. So once you've hot glued your magnets on, they are super duper secure on the back and they are ready to stick on your locker, on your fridge, any magnetic surface is perfect. Subscribe now if you're sad that summer's over and you need a DIY to perk up your mood. Subscribe now if you're sad that a truck drove by and ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs>